Alrighty, like we said earlier, we are going to try our best to tie both light tackle versions and fly versions of many of the patterns that we use. So in the vise here, we got a jig. This is an eighth ounce. Eighth ounce is about as light as you'd want to go on, uh, on light tackle off the jetty. On a calm day, this is fantastic. You really don't have to cast as far as people think. Uh, those fish are in the rocks, in the jetty. Uh, on the face of the jetty. So we are going to get after it here. Uh, a fourth ounce would be great. Uh, that's generally the size I like to use. But for purpose of this video, we will be tying with an eighth ounce. Alrighty, so just like the fly version of this, we're gonna take some Galaxy Mop Chenille. And for, for this, you were not working as, uh, as twice the length of the hook shaft. So we're just looking for uh, about an inch extended off of that barb. So we're going to turn that jig over and we are going to wrap it down. And this, this is a great way for those of you that are tying jigs for light tackle to tie something up for the jetty. It is a lot of fun. And this is about as productive as it gets. Alrighty, so since we have a little bit of a longer hook shank here, we're not gonna stack the semi-seal, which is our next material on this pattern, as thick. We're going to kind of taper it in. So we are gonna go a little lighter on the back and we are just lining up these fibers here. Loose wrap, tight wrap. Couple more over top just to secure and veil it back. And then we are going to work our way forward on the shank of this jig. So for those of you that tie your steelhead jigs or your Coho jigs, you can also tie up jigs for the jetty and have a ton of success. Honestly, crappie jigs work great. This is borderline a crappie jig. Um, not quite what I would use, but the idea is all the same. Alrighty here, we're working our way up this shank of the jig. We're gonna stack a little more semi-seal right there just to build it up a bit here so it really kicks these legs out that we're gonna put on next. And this is a really quick jig to tie. Not a lot goes into it so that when this drops into the crevices off the jetty, uh, you won't be devastated if it stays in the crevice. All right, so next up, we're gonna take some rubber legs. These are Chacon's crusher legs, but many of the legs that you also utilize for salmon and steelhead will work great. I'm sticking with the shrimp theme here. I do think that that is pretty vital. Uh, I far prefer it to uh, say like a big white jig that you're gonna toss out there. Um, this is far more effective I've found. All right, so we got two of those legs on either side here. Really tighten up that thread wraps and we're gonna make our way to the last portion of this, of this jig. So we're gonna take some schlop in here and we're going to build up the front of this jig. Tie that down like so. Snip off that excess at the front here. Let's see if we can wrap this feather a little bit better than how we did on the fly version of this pattern. There we go. 
maintain those fibers. Go back here. as we continue to wrap this slop in forward. Alrighty, right behind the jig here, jig head. We're gonna finish that off. And I have no doubt that you could get a coho to eat this as well, but this is for rockfish. And they love this pattern. Really gonna secure that down. Gonna throw in a little zappa gap or your head cement of choice. I like doing it this way. It gets a pretty even distribution, but you do have to move quickly if you're going to do it that way. This stuff dries fast and it will run down the thread. Alrighty, and we are nearly complete with this jig here for the jetties off the Washington coast for all you tires that supported us all steelhead and salmon season long for twitching jigs in the rivers. This can keep you tying on the vise. So we're going to take the tail end of this and we're going to burn it just a tad, just like so. Give it a little bit of a taper, secure that chenille so that when these uh, toothy fish, like a rockfish or a lingcod, bites onto it, it, it won't shred it. So that you can catch many fish on one jig is the idea here. So that is that. That's a really easy jig to tie. If you're going to be fishing off the jetty this season and you had a ton of fun tying up jigs for salmon and steelhead, this is a great way to keep you on the vise throughout the summer. Keep your tie in sharp. And if there's anything that we can do, be sure to let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much.